DaVinci Resolve has this plugin that you may not be aware of, and that is called the Sound Library. So this doesn't come pre-installed. The button is there, but you do have to go and install the plugin separately from blackmagicdesign.com. This is great if you are someone that loves sound design or you just want a better way to organize and grab your audio files quicker. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use that and how to add your own music and sound effects within this plugin. I will have a link in the description to go to download the sound library, but if you're just watching along, one of the quick things you can do is go to blackmagicdesign.com, come up to support, you can click Controller Command F and type in sound, and that will show you the Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library. It is a 1.0. I really, really want DaVinci to update it, and you'll see why, but it does work. So you can click Mac or Windows or Linux, whatever you're using, and download it that way, and just simply follow the instructions to install it. Once you have it installed, you can come up to the Sound Library tab, and you won't see anything. One thing that's amazing is that it already comes full of 500 Foley sounds that you can utilize. So if you don't know what Foley is, that's kind of like the footsteps, hearing the wind, doors opening, closing, those kind of effects that just kind of add some atmosphere to your video. To see that, you're going to come up to search and type in star three times. So one, two, three, and here we are. You have all these effects and you can just grab them, drag and drop right there, and you can play it. The great thing is it'll automatically be added to your media pool, so you can go back and grab it again if you need to use it in another spot. Another cool thing is you can add in and out points, so if there's a sound that you only want a part of, you can scrub through, click I, and then find the in, click O, and now you have in and out of just that part of the sound. So those are just the ones that come with it. To add your actual music and sound effects for your own library, I'll show you how to do that. You can click this drop down right here and you can see there's Fairlight Sound Library. And when you click that, you have all your other databases. I have a music and sound effects database and that's what I added myself. So to do that, you're gonna have to add a new library. You go down to the home icon down here and you'll add a project library and you'll name it music or sound effects or whatever and choose a location. I actually have mine located under my music library on my computer where I have DaVinci Music and DaVinci Sound Effects. That way I have a spot to store all of my stuff. You just do that, select folder, and hit create. I'm not gonna hit that because I already have one made, but you can repeat the step for music or sound effects. And this works both with Windows and Mac. So here we are in my music folder. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And I use audio.com. And if you wanna check them out and support the channel, link in the description. These are just songs that I've downloaded over time and I just throw them in here. That way they're easy to grab from the sound library. I'm not having to bring them in. To be able to see that, we just make sure that we, and if you don't have this interface and maybe it says something like right here, no library connected, you just hit add library. And then you'll just go to that file path and then hit select folder and then it'll add all the music and sound effects in there. You gotta remember this, if you add more music or sound effects to your folder, it's not going to update live. There's no live update for this. So that's the main thing that I want DaVinci Resolve to make an update on. It's been out for over three years now, just make it an update. To manually update this, you're gonna come up to the three dots, hit add library and then go find the folder, reconnect it, and then it scans through and will add the new music or sound effects that you have. And just like before, you can search, it's like audio, and these are all the songs that I have on here. And I can play them, grab and out points, and then drag and drop it. And that's how you can add the DaVinci Resolve sound library to DaVinci and add your own music and sound effects to it. If you have any other video ideas, let me know in the comment section.